Thank you, Atenewa. And let's start our today's Propanikaya study, reciting the Mordasa three times together. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Okay, welcome back to Rupa Nikaya study in lesson nine. Today is, is part nine of our uh, study series. <clears throat> in today's lesson, we will study the Sona Danda Sutta. So, so this <clears throat> Sona Danda uh is the name of a brahmin at the name of brahmin so in this sutta uh, the qualities of true brahmin will be emphasized but in this lesson of part nine uh, we will not see this part and in part 10 we will study about the the true qualities of the brahmin or the brahmin the the qualities of true brahmin um <clears throat> in this lesson 9 we will we will see how the this teaching come to appear and we can say this is called in Pali tradition, this is called Nidana, especially. So <clears throat> most of the sutta, uh, we can see the introduction part of the sutta. It usually expressed, this sutta have been expounded where and to whom and what is the reason. So these are called nidhana, this kind of introduction to prove this Sutta is preached by the Buddha or disciple or kind of, sometimes the report of the Dewa <clears throat> in order to identify the position of the Sutta. This introduction part is very important. So, in this Sona Danda Sutta, uh, the Brahmin Sona Danda approach the Buddha and have the composition about the qualities of the true Brahmin. But before that, we need to know who is the Brahmin Sona Danda. Here, the Brahmin Sona Danda, his place is the city or Champa, we call it the Champa, uh, <clears throat> the city of Champa. Then he was uh, the administrator of that city. So this this authority is given by the Bimbisara, King Bimbisara, uh, King Bimbisara, the king of Magadha. So when we study the Sutta, we need to, to learn some something about the, the bio the geography of the India during the time of Buddha. So the previous Sutta, King Kosala. So King Kosala gave <clears throat> the Ukata town to the Brahmin Bokrasati. So in this Sutta, the King Bimbisara, the ruler of Magadha, gave this 
authority to the Brahmisona Danda in the city of Champa. So in this way, we can understand the uh, Gosala. Uh, Gosala belong to the Ugata and the Magara belong to the, the Champa city. <clears throat> and also we should remember you know, the king's name. The Bimbisara is the king of Magara. And uh, Basenati Gosala is the king of the Gosala uh, region, Gosala country. Okay, so uh, Sonadanda is the administrator of the the Jamba town. So the same expression with the previous Sutta. Oh. Then the Buddha during the the traveling or the teaching of Dhamma uh, arrived at the Jamba city, and also uh, the Buddha uh, was staying at the Gagra Lotus Pond. Here in this Sutta, the expression comes: the the Jamba is the part of the Anka country. So, <clears throat> in this case, we we can understand the Anga and Magadha. Two countries are ruled by the Gimbimbisara under the uh, the ruling of Gimbimbisara. Two countries we can see the Magadha and the Anga. So the Jamba is part of the Anga country. So here, <clears throat> uh, the Brahmin and householders of the Jamba city they heard about the arrival of Buddha. Uh, who has a good report? You already know about the good reports of the Buddha. You may remember that the Arahan, Samasambudra, Vijayarana, Sambano, etc. So, uh, emphasizing the nine honors or nine qualities of the Buddha are uh, usually expressed as the good report of the Buddha. <clears throat> when during that time, when the people talk about the, the Buddha, or uh, mostly the, the other sects, uh, not the follower of the Buddha, they call the Buddha as the ascetic Gautama. But they also accept he, the ascetic Gautama or the Buddha has the good report of Arahan Samasambuddha, which is Jarana Sambano, etc. <clears throat> then the people in the city of Jamba, uh, they had learned about the arrival of Buddha and because they know the good report of the Buddha and then they want to approach to the Buddha. Then a great number of people gathered to approach to the Buddha. At that time, the Brahmin Sona Danda, he saw the great number of people gathering and asked about when they are gathering and he has learned the Buddha's arrival and people are going to approach. Then he asked his stewards to wait to, to deliver his message to these people he also going to join to approach to the Buddha. So ascetic Gautama referring to the Buddha. <clears throat> so wait for him, he asked. Then the uh, the steward also asked the crowds to wait for the Sonatanda. This is the first event. Then during that time, I mean, for some reason, the Many Brahmins, around 500 members of Brahmins from the different region, who are living in Jamba, living in Jamba's town. And they heard that the Sonadanda intended to visit the Buddha. This becomes an issue for them. 
<clears throat> because they like to protect the role of the Brahmins. Uh, if the Sona Danda approach to the, the Buddha, they are thinking that this is a kind of uh, failures of the Brahmin community. So they call the Sonadanda and ask not to go, not to go to the, the Buddha. And they say it is not suitable to go by you, the, the, the Brahmin Sonadanda to the ascetic Gorama. Actually, the ascetic Gorama should visit you. Brahmin Sonadanda is considering that if someone visit to the other, so that, that person, the visitor, considers us the lower position. That's why <clears throat> the the object, and given the different reason. So the first reason is if the <clears throat> Reverend Sona Danda, the Brahmin Sona Danda, approach with the crowds, approach to the ascetic Gautama, your reputation, so the Sona Danda's reputation will decrease, and the ascetic Gautama's reputation will be increased. People will think the, the Buddha has a higher quality than the Sonatanda. That is why the Sonatanda come to approach to the Buddha. So this is not the right way to visit to ascetic karma. That's why you should not visit. This is the first reason, because your reputation will decrease and the ascetic karma's reputation will increase. Uh, then they, they, they say, you should not go. Then, they give you another reason. So, praising the Brahmin Sonadanda to pursue not to visit to the Buddha. And because the Brahmin Sonadanda is well born, well born, both the mother and father's side, you, Brahmin Sonadanda, have the pure descendant to the seventh generation. If we follow up to the seventh generation, the pure Brahmin cults, you are belong to the pure Brahmin cults. That is why nobody can criticize you due to the birth, due to the caste. You have the pure descendant of caste system. And according to Brahmin's uh, belief, those who have the pure descendant of in the caste system should be in the high position. So the Brahmin Sonadanda is that kind of person belong to the, uh, the pure descendants up to the seventh generation. You should be in higher position. You should not approach. This is the second reason. Then the third reason is about the world. You possess a great deal of wealth and resources. That you are the richer person than ascetic Gautama. They, they, they are talking about the Buddha. That is why right? you are wealthier and you should not go. Then the you are a scholar, so the, the praise <clears throat> by the education, that you are a scholar and is part in three Vedas. And also you are very skillful in the rules and ratio of the Brahminism and tradition. That's why by this honor, you should not approach other than that the ascetic karma should approach to you. Then number five is about the appearance. So 
you are the handsome person and very good looking and the the most beautiful complexion. That's why you are very uh, resemble to the Brahmin's appearance. So this is very high position of praising about the appearance. So nobody can can match with you about the appearance. A very handsome person. Also, <clears throat> the 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 ornaments. Then number six is about the bachu. So you have a group, great bachu, bachu person. You are a bachu person and you have a great bachu. Everybody know about your bachu. <clears throat> and number seven is well-spoken. You are very skillful in the polite way of speaking. And you know how to speak in the um, yeah. and how to say that <clears throat> as a gentleman is talking. So this is also your your honors. By this honor you should not approach. Then number eight is being a teacher of the teachers. So Brahmin teachers in different regions come to you know, reference honor danda to learn to to discuss about the the test of Veda, and also the the young men, so about the three hundred students are learning with you. That's why being a teacher, you should not approach. You should maintain your position, and also number nine is the age. You are already in age older than the ascetic Gorama, the Buddha himself. And compared to the Buddha, and the Buddha is just a young man, you are very senior to him according to the age. So this also another reason not to perceive. And if we talk about the um, the ascetic life, so the Brahmin life as in the same position, you already in the teacher level of the Brahmin. For the ascetic Gorama, he is just a newly gone forth, newly ordained monk. Just a few years ago, he started. So, according to seniority of the ascetic life, also you should not approach. Then, number 10 is the reference on Adanda is. Is honored by the King Bimbisara. So King Bimbisara gave the authority to rule the, the Champa town with respect to the uh, Reverend Sonadanda's qualities. That's why the King Bimbisara also uh, respect to you and also worship to you. So this they say the the worshiping also done by the king as a Teacher, maybe this relationship is the um, the Brahmin Sonadanda is the consultant of the uh, uh, King Bimbisara. Uh, then also they refer to the Brahmin Pokrasati. You may remember that this Pokrasati is a very educated person in the, the country of the King Kosala. So King Kosala, from the other country, the high Brahmin, high caste and the high position of Brahmin also respect you. This is another honor of the uh, Brahmin Sona Danda. So now in this Sutta, we can see the position of the Brahmin Sona Danda is higher than the Brahmin Pokrasati. Then, the last reason the Brahmins, the other Brahmins given to, uh, given to the uh, Sonadanda not to go to the Buddha is, is you are the ruler of this town given by the King Bimbisara himself as a royal gift to rule this town. You are the owner of this Jampa town. And that is why being a 
the in the highest position of the administration, the ascetic Gautama come to visit to you. He should he should visit to you, and you should not visit to him. These are uh, uh, the suggestion, and also on the other way, we can consider the objection of the Brahmins not to visit is to the Buddha. Then, at that time, the Brahmin Sonadana himself he explained about the reasons. Is more than the other Brahmins said. To, the, to him, he has so many reasons to visit to the Buddha himself. He already know clearly he should visit to the Buddha, other than waiting the Buddha himself come to come to the Buddha or come to him. And so he's he is plain. So listen, my friends, listen, gentlemen, about the reason why I should visit to the Buddha. <coughs> Then he explained, that is true, my caste system is pure. I'm, a, I'm uh, the pure descendant of the seventh generation, of course. But the ascetic Gautama, the Buddha himself also were born. That's, that's why I'm, I'm the same position in this case. I cannot think myself regarding the caste system higher than the Buddha himself. That's why I'm although you give well-born person as uh, as a well-born person to me, uh, <clears throat> this is not the real reason to stay without approaching to the Buddha. Then the second one, so from the number two, and he continued about the, the Buddha's renunciation. So or going forth mean the being a sector light. So going forth into a sector light. When the Buddha go to the a sector light, the kinsmen, many relatives, are uh, led to him, to the to the Bodhisattva. We call the Bodhisattva one who who did not attain the Buddhahood, although he is going to become a Buddha, before the attainment of Buddhahood, we call the Bodhisattva. So it's translated as the, sometimes the future Buddha in the in English translation. <clears throat> the Bodhisattva, uh, when he renounced to search for the noble truth, Many relatives, many kinsmen loved to him, and he was leaving behind, leaving behind them. You know, they uh, to going to the ascetic life uh, at the age of twenty nine. Right, he renounced his body. Said that renounced, leaving the great body of great number of kinsmen. It means. His ordination, his approach into the accepted life is not because of loss of relatives, loss of, of kinsmen, relatives. Although he has a good position of a great number of relatives, he left behind them. Now, this is also one other quality, not because of any disaster. Not because of any loss, he just decided to become accepted to search for the noble truth. <clears throat> and if you are talking about my relatives or uh, my followers, so we have to consider about the the Buddha's relatives is much more than I have. This is the, the intention of the Sonatanda. Then also when he went forth into a settled life, many worlds already belong to him and he left behind them. And he gave up the goal and well. Being a 
very worthy princes, and he he abandoned it and become ascetics. After that, number four is when he became ascetic, and he is still young, only twenty nine years old. It means he can enjoy his life if he does not approach to the ascetic life. It means not because of losing wealth and losing age, just for his confidence to search for the noble truth. And also, number five is about the parents' will, not because of the force of parents. Uh, the uh, the Buddha renounced by himself why the parents are weeping because maybe you already heard about the expectation of the King Sudodana, who is the father of the Buddha. Well, he expected the Buddha to become the universal monarch, Chakravarti King. Not to the not become the Buddha. That's why, when the Buddha renounced and went forth to the ascetic life, so here although the parents, the the Buddha's mother already passed away at that time. The King Sudodana father and at the position of mother, the Mahapajapati Gorami. If you have read about the biography of the Buddha. Well, you may know them. So none of them want him to left home to become a settler, and they just expect him to become a universal monarch to make the Sakya kingdom stronger and powerful. So not because of parents' force or anybody's encouragement, he renounced according to his own will, his own confidence to search for the noble truth, for the benefits of every living beings. In these four present, four statements, the Brahmin Sonatanda appreciate the the reason or the the condition of the Buddha when he renounced and become ascetic. <clears throat> then the same virtues referred to him by the other Brahmins, and he, he continued, uh, just like you say, I am a handsome man, so he is more handsome than me. So the Buddha is the, you know, with the uh, uh, 32 great marks, we will see it later. So he is more handsome than me. Also, the Bajju, uh, Bajju was the Brahmin Sonadana cannot compare to the Buddha. Also, well spoken, a teacher or teacher, these are shortened and because the same expression. Also, another quality I don't have in me, the uh, Brahmin Sonadana, he does not have. The quality is the ascetic Gorama, the Buddha, he has abandoned sensualities. Although the Brahmin Sonadana are living in the luxurious life with the endowed with the sensual pleasure, the Buddha is not living in that way. That's why this these are um, uh, extra praise to the Buddha. Then number eleven is he, the Buddha, teaches Asian Kamawadi. So <clears throat> We can learn in this statement, you know, the, the, the let's say the, the view of the Buddha. So the Buddha teach the action, I mean the the action should be done. That's the action should be done. I mean the uh, action produce the result. But this if someone believe this system, this is called the Gamma Wadi. So Gamma produce the result. And this is the process. And another one, Kiriyawadi, it is translated as the he teach the result of action. It means 
if someone wish to to experience the good result, he should perform the good action. Definitely, you know, the action is the cause. That is why action should be done according to your preference. If you like to have the good result in the future, you have to perform the good action as a cause of good result. This is called the Kiriyawari. So for those who have a belief and confidence in the cause and effect relationship, uh, this is called the Ekamawadi. And for those who who talk about the, the action, the good action should be done with the expectation to have the good result. I mean, the author will not reward you the good result. The only good action will produce good result. That is why if you wish to have a good result, you sh the good action should be done. This kind of uh, explanation is called the Kriyawada. So those who have this kind of teaching, Kriyawadi. Then, and the other one, this is a Pali expression, very nice. So sometimes we cannot give the complete meaning of the Pali statement by any language. Uh, that's why I, I keep the Pali word here. Appapa Purakaro. Brahmanyaya. So Brahmanyaya is the way to become the Brahmin. According to the definition of the Brahmin community, to become the, the Brahma or to become the true Brahmin, it, it's, there's a way. This is called the Brahmanyaya. And for the Buddhist community, this this Brahmin is not the Brahmin according to caste system. This Brahmin refers to those who already remove defilements in his mind, become the noble person. That kind of person is called Brahmin according to the definition of Buddhist community. So in this case, you should know two definitions of the Brahmin, the Wa Brahmin, uh, according to the different community. So here, Brahmanyaya means to become the noble person, according to Buddhist community. According to Brahmin community, to become the Brahma or to become the true Brahmin. So when he talk about this way of life, the noble living of life, he is honoring to the blameless, the blame Appapa Purakara. Appapa, here the word Papa refers to the a blameworthy action, something evil. So Appapa, the word art is the opposite meaning. That's why Appapa becomes the good or blameless. So when he talk about the way of living, he always Keep the statement of goodness, blamelessness in the higher position. So Purakara is keeping or uh, keeping in the in the head or uh, the um and the highest position. So if you live in the way of noble life, you should perform the blameless action. Nobody can become noble person with the blameworthy action. This is a very clear statement. If someone wants to become a noble person, he should avoid every blameworthy or evil action. This mesh, <clears throat> and, you know, we can consider this as the principle of the Buddhist way. If someone is talking about, well, I am and trying to, to be in the noble person life. I'm on the way of noble person's life. And if we see, he is performing evil 
action. We say it is not. It's not true. If we maintain himself in the blameless position, performing the blameless action and good action, we can say, okay, it is true. So <clears throat> this statement is given by the Brahmin Sona Danda talking about the Buddha's Paju. We can we can understand the three words to express the Buddha, Kamawadi, Kiriyawadi, and Appapapura Karo Brahmanyaya. So taking this as a principle of the Buddhist way of life, if someone's talking about, you know, or if you want to become the authentic Buddhist, you do this. So you can consider whether this is evil or good. If it is evil, you say you should say this is not matched with the principle of the Buddhist way. If it is good action, and you can follow it. Okay, so number twelve is still he repeating about the um the caste system, you know, the high path. He become a wanderer. So a wanderer refers to the ascetics. So he become ascetic from the high baths or the Katia family. Katia family. <clears throat> uh, he is a prince, son of the king. Then number 13 is from the wealthy family. Very similar to the in number two, three, four expression. And number 14 and 15. So people from the different region, from the different land, come to the Buddha to consult about the way or living, about the Dhamma. And this is also a kind of virtues of the Buddha, honors of the Buddha. For people come to him, mean come to cons uh, consult to him, mean he is wise, wise person. Then, not only human beings, so he said that many thousands of devas, the devas is the heavenly beings, but sometimes they, the earthly devas also have. And mostly the devas have the better life and the better powers than human beings. So not only human beings, even the many thousands of dewa take refuge to him or become a desire. So in two statements of 14 and 15 say, teacher of the human and dewas. Then <clears throat> verse 16, he repeated, he has a good report, but Brahmin Sonadana does not have this kind of good reputation about the Arahan Sama Sambuddha. Only the Buddha or Asati Gorma have this, this kind of good report. Then 17, he appreciates about the appearance of the Buddha. His body is endowed with the 32 marks of great men. This also very important because uh, this is called the Mahapurisa Lakana. So great man is Mahapurisa, Lakana is a Max. In the, the Brahminical text, there's one, one Brahmin, Brahminical text is called the, the Mahapurisa Lakana text. So the Brahmins, they already learned, they had already learned about the no, the great person, great man must be endowed with the 32 kinds of the Max. <clears throat> but if you really investigate about the physical body of the Buddha, you will see 32 great mass of the uh, 32 mass of the great man. As mentioned in the text, he prays by this quality. These 32 marks are explained in the Lekhana Sutta. So we will study there, the great man. The Brahmin community really appreciate those who have this kind. Sometimes, you know, some Brahmin have only three marks only. <clears throat> uh, but they still appreciate about that. <clears throat> but Buddha have 
all complete 32 marks. That is why when you closely see the Sun Buddha statue and the the artifacts they made it by the 32 marks. <clears throat> and 18, number 18 is the Buddha has a welcoming words. If someone visits to the Buddha, the Buddha warmly welcome and kindly speaks to him to the visitor. So this is also kind of qualities. By following that, we show welcome to our visitor you know, with a kind speech. Then number 19 is four assemblies re referred to the Buddha. So four assemblies mean the bhikkhu, I mean the, the monks, not the, the male monks. And the female monks are called the bhikkhuni. Then the lay followers and female lay followers. And these are called the four assembly. They really uh, refer, uh, really honor to the Buddha. And also many Dewa and human devoted to the Buddha. After that, uh, this is also another quality is when the Buddha visit to anywhere, you know, the some place of town or village in that region, the non-human beings are not making trouble to the human beings. It it is say at the visit of the at the arrival of the Buddha, some powerful devas come to visit to the Buddha. When the powerful devas come to visit, and the others, the lower level are separate with the evil mind, evil spirits run away. So the the commentary explained that the evil suppress just trouble to the human being. And because they run away, being afraid of the, the powerful dewa, and everybody is safe in that area. This is the reason why in the place the Buddha visit is safe. Then the uh, number 22 is the different followers follows to the Buddha's instruction, listen to the Buddha's Dhamma and practice. So the Buddha is a great teacher of different people. So not only Anga country, not only Magadha country and the Kosala country. So we can see in the text and the Buddha traveling around for the, the propagation of the Dhamma every country and the even the kings welcome and take refuge to the buddha become a follower so he is a great leader of these sets i mean they are um, here uh, the buddha forming the sangha community the community of the monks and he he is a chief and also not only the Buddha, the other we already introduced in the second sutta of the Samanyapala Sutta, the different teacher, or altogether six great teacher during that time, six teacher. Uh, every one of them have their own followers, followers group. But the different is the ascetic Gautama, according to the Brahmin Sonadanda, uh, is uh, well known, not because of uh, the reason of here and there, not this and that reporters. He is well known because of his unsurpassed wisdom and conduct. This already explained the wisdom and conduct of Icha and Jarana. So his fame and his reputation is achieved according to his vichacharana, not because of follower, not because of the other reason. The other teacher have a different reason to, to gain their fame and reputation. But for the ascetic Gautama, the main reason to get his fame is Vicha and Charana. So you can check back what are the Vicha and Charana in the number three sutta. 
Okay, so <clears throat> this is uh, 20 second. Uh, then 23rd and 24 <clears throat> about the followers. You say the king Bimbi Sara worship to me and honor to me, but he is not taking refuge to me. He just take refuge to the ascetic karma. Not only himself, he take refuge with his son, his wife, and his follower, including the ministers and the attendants. And <clears throat> not only Kin Bimbisara, the other kingdom of the Kim Basinati Kosala also take refuge. Also Bakrasadi. So the Brahmin just say the Kim Bimbisara and Bakrasadi worship to the the, as the Brahmin Sonadanda, but in this case, the Brahmin Sonadanda himself express the the two kings, not only two kings, he just gave the example. Uh, the very high power of two kings and the high position of Brahmin, they take refuge to the Buddha. So taking understanding this passage, we can understand uh, you know the uh, this. Sutta, Sona Danda Sutta is preached later than the uh, Ambata Sutta, the number three Sutta, because in number three Sutta we can see the Bakra Sati approach to the Buddha after having conversation and invitation, and he approached himself as the, the follower of the Buddha. So here in this Sutta, the Brahmin Sonadanda is plain. Uh, Vakrasadi <clears throat> take refuge to the Buddha. It means this Sutta is later than the, the Ambata Sutta. Then also the, these three great men, great kings and the, the Brahmins, they reverence to the, the ascetic Orama. And finally, because the ascetic Gautama arrived to Sampa, see the Sampa town where I am and you know, ruling in this, uh, in this town. So he is our visitor, our guest. So whoever come to our territory is our guest, including ascetic Gautama. This is also very important reason to visit him. So we should, uh, we should honor us to our our gods. And so he he is now living in the Gagras Lota Pond. So I'm going to approach to him there. And, and he finalized that finally he just said uh, this all what I can praise to the ascetic Orama. This is all I know about his honor. And but this is not enough to praise ascetic Gautama because he is beyond all praise. So he usually says, uh, if someone just talk, not talking any other thing, and just talk about the Buddha's virtue, although he spent his whole life, it is not enough. And also, only the wise person can understand about Buddha's virtue and can express properly about the Buddha's honors. Uh, so by this statement, the Brahmin Sonadanda keep himself in the lower position. Although I praise the ascetic Gautama as much as I can, but that praising is not sufficient to express the, the ascetic Gautama's honors. He still have a, the a lot of things to to appreciate or to praise. Then, the finally, the the group the about the five hundred group of the, the Brahmin they accepted. Oh, if so, according to your explanation, according to your statements, uh, the ascetic Gorma is very honorable person. Uh, by listening. Your praising, we can see <clears throat> even if he is living in 
very powerful distance, about the 100 deals walking distance. Uh, the the person who who has the knowledge <clears throat> to learn as a great man, he should approach. It's not only you know the uh, they say now the Asante Gautama is living nearby in our place. Even if he lives very far, we should visit. So why not we we visit together? And they decide, uh, we also will follow to you, Brahmin Sonadana, and then they follow to, uh, to, to the Brahmin Sonadana, and they all approach to the Buddha, to visit to the Buddha as a uh, honorary vikas. Then, <clears throat> and this lesson, we will study about their conversation and about the true quality of Brahmin. And this is very interesting, and we can learn what are the the most important qualities to become a great person in the next lesson. Yeah. I'm going to stop here. My explanation. Thank you very much for your attention and participation. Thank you. Sadhu, 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 siapa? Siapa? Thank you very much for today's teaching. Uh, during each session, Seattle will explain the outline of every sutta one by one. There is homework assignment for this Nikaya study series. For our next homework assignment, Seattle would like us to continue in reading the translated fourth sutta of Diga Nikaya in your preferred language to prepare ourselves before the next study <clears throat> session in three weeks. Please take notes during your readings. If there are any questions, please submit to our email at americadhammasociety at gmail.com and it will be answered accordingly. On this link, you can also access the lecture notes of this teaching series. Lecture notes are also translated to Chinese, Indonesian, and Vietnamese. We have also posted this link in our Zoom chat room. You can copy it, uh, it now. Otherwise, please reach us reach out to us for this link if you have not done so.